Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for everybody tuning in and joining me. I know we have a small group right now, but it's going to grow a lot bigger. Um, I just wanted to check in with everybody, make sure they're doing okay. It's been a lot to digest and it's very sad news, of course, but with my with my initial gut feeling on this thing and many, many other other people have the same thing. Catherine's can just Princess Catherine is going to be absolutely fine. And with all the amazing positive prayers and wishes sending her way, she'll be just fine. And like everybody says, rise above this a thousand times stronger. Um, but I think mostly what I wanted to do today was I wanted to address um, just disgusting amounts of a PR spin on the fact that Megan and Harry allegedly reached out to Catherine, you know, to send their best wishes and stuff like that. First of all, you're a day late and a lot of money short. I mean, you can't allegedly go on a six month smear campaign about a Photoshop photo and a hate campaign and then get, you know what I mean? It doesn't work. The, the entire world knows that you're pretty much full of shit, allegedly. <laughs> and that's the way it goes. I mean, Dan Wooten, Dan Wooten even called it out. And you and the Sussex squad tried to bury Dan Wooten, allegedly, in my opinion. Well, allegedly in a lot of other people's opinions also. So to come out now after all that is just so blatantly disgusting and gross to think that that's going to get you anywhere. It's not going to get you anywhere, but where you belong. Yeah. And we all know where that is. It's, it's sad. It's just so disrespectful and disgustingly jealous and selfish that you think that you can just put out endless one after another all day on social media. And I'm sure everybody saw it because I did. And it just, it, it, it's just, it's gross. Leave that woman alone. I mean, Dan Wooten did a big special on it. You are the orchestrator of the Sussex squad and the smear campaign and the hate and the bullying online of a to a woman who deserves nothing like that at all. It's just really sad. But so that's why we're here today to talk about that. You know, and boy, the Sussex squad have been working overtime today. Oh man. You know, in, in their little, you know, warped little whatever minds, 17 brain cells on, on uh, Megan's Kool-Aid, allegedly, in my opinion. No clue. And I'm just so glad that even Dan Wooten opened up that can and bought it to everybody's light. But it's all coming out in the wash now. I, I think... I think from this day forward, this this day will mark a day, another day in history for something else, for the for the Sussex Squad and the evil hate campaign against Princess Catherine, the royal family, William, my family. It's all coming to an end because the universe prevails over evil. So let's say hello to some people out here. See, now it's getting busy. Okay. Marie Farmer, hi, Thomas. Hi, Megan. How's your daddy? <laughs> you know, Tom, if they went away, the world would miss them as much as Catherine, as Catherine loved to Dad and Sam. Uh, if they went away, the world would not miss them. Yeah, absolutely. Kevin, good evening from Lakeland, Florida. Good evening, 
energy. Let's see. Abu Hundreds. She may have reached out only to find nobody is picking up the phone. Yeah, it's a good point there. And it's she didn't reach out. Okay. In my opinion, no. She put out 50 articles on all of her social media about now all of a sudden, suddenly she cares. Like I said before and yesterday, she's probably the only happy person on the planet today and yesterday. I mean, look at look at what she does on social media. She's putting out like things like from yesterday. It's it's that has nothing to do with anything but her. It's 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 foul. Joyce. Joyce Mashburn. Love you, Thomas. Would love to meet you. Cindy B. Good evening, Tom. E. Williamson. Hi, Kim Schwent. Hi, Thomas in chat. Kellyanne Rossman. Gross hypocrisy. Yes, you could say that 10 times over. Who's that? I got a message. <laughs> Anyway, but thanks everybody for joining in. Okay, Moths Mummy. Hi, Tom Jr. from Sussex, UK. Hi, how, how's it going? Free speech. Hello, Thomas and everyone. Linda Nickerson. Hello, Thomas and everyone from Vancouver Island, BC. Jameson. Uh, Jameson, as far as a lot of us are concerned, the gruesome twosome in Montecito have contributed to health issues at the palace, creating an, orm, an enormous amount of unnecessary stress. Well, that brings me to another subject because you are spot on. It's no mystery at all to anybody. If you look at the, like, you know, this is just my opinion, by the way. Anybody else can look this up. It's all over the internet anyway. The day that Meghan Markle entered the palace. What's happened since then? I mean, anybody have any ideas on that? Exactly. What's happened? Nothing but bad. I mean, look, just look for yourselves on the Internet. I'm just repeating it. And it's my opinion. But that should be like the red flag warning to the entire royal family that it is over just as far away as possible never touch foot in the uk ever again uh pip t hi thomas hope your dad and samantha are okay yeah we're all good you know and we're watching our backs too because the sussex squad they're there after everybody all over all over everywhere anybody saying anything bad about them it's a constant threat and you, you can't take it lightly because, you know, these people are crazy, nuts, batshit, mother freaking crazy. Sherry Hamlin. Hi, Tom, from Los Alamitos, California. I just saw the Sperry and Megaduso were on their way to the UK. Yeah, right. I highly doubt that. Guaranteed, they won't be anywhere near anywhere near anything that's going on all speculation all paid pr in my opinion lillian good evening from san diego a neighbor yes free speech one june the only right thing for them to do is now for now is is to hide yeah like i said yesterday go to the desert bury your heads in the sand and don't come back Disgraceful. Jamie's mom, that would be the last person I would want to see if I heard recovering with the chem yeah, exactly. Huh. And Catherine's gonna just do amazing. She's just gonna come out of this way on top. And Tanya Frazier, afternoon Thomas from Australia. Hello for MAGA. I agree 
with what Dan Wooten has said about H and M. He is not, but he is not a nice person. Well, you know, Dan Wooten survived their attacks too, so um, he has every right to voice his opinion. And Dan Dan Wooten is actually a nice guy. So, Royal Chats, where is the barbecue and the sexy accent? I love the chats. Can you tell us who tell us who she is? I don't know who it. Oh, Royal Barbecue. <laughs> Royal Barbecue. Okay, Grace. Prince. Grace. Prince William has been known for decades now to be protective over C. He will never let H&M near his family again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that one because that's, that's the way I see it. Enough damage. Enough hurt, enough negativity, enough of everything has been done. Joni, hey, Tom, hi. That's a good one right there. Elizabeth uh, Besco. I am a Christian. I believe in God. I believe God does not like ugly. The karma train will arrive at the Olive Garden. Call soon. Catherine the Great, William the Lionheart will be held in love, care, and prayers as they are now. Exactly. Haggy's imaginary legal team. <laughs> she probably gave Princess Catherine the stress, caused that woman the stress in the stomach. Well, it's no secret to anybody that there's been jealous hatred from day one from Meghan to Princess Catherine. That's that's out there everywhere, all over the news. So, Gail, South Australia, she's beyond a joke, as is H. No proper name, said no respect shown at all. Yep. And in every paid PR, every paid PR ad out there, and they're all the ones that are on the payroll. It's so obvious. Um, every single one disrespects Catherine. Every single one. They, they, they call her Kate Middleton. That's way old. It's Princess Catherine. The only person who would pay to put that in there to somebody on the payroll is guess who? The jealous person that blew the biggest opportunity in anybody's life in history and screwed it up out of jealous rage and selfishness. And I'm sure we can all guess who that is. But no, sorry. We're not buying it. You're so late, it's not even funny, and it's meaningless. And it's paid PR. Your, your PR company must just be kicking you in the face right now. Hopefully, you know, that'd be kind of nice to watch at this point. But seriously, nobody buys it. Nobody will ever buy it. And you're not on your way to the UK, and you never will be on your way to the UK. So, <laughs> Royal Chats, who is barbecue? I'm up for a sexy accent date. <laughs> well, you know, there are privacy laws and I wouldn't tell anybody who you are. So you'll just, you know, you'll just have to enjoy the chats when she comes on. So purples me, Pam. Thank you so much. You are awesome. Another, another great tip in the tip jar. Thank you, Thomas Jr. For being so supportive of the world's true princess, Princess Catherine of Wales. Much love and prayers to you, Sam, and your dad. And let me say that again. That's what I was just talking about, about all the paid PR ads, about how they tried to reach out and they're so concerned and they didn't know. Um, her name is not Kate. She is not addressed as Kate. She's addressed as Princess Catherine of Wales. 
yeah, that's that's it. So, Megzi, Z, eat your heart out. You know, you're going to go down in history in Wikipedia as the biggest screw up in world history, allegedly, in my opinion. <laughs> of course, <laughs> I and when that day comes, and you type in Meghan Markle on Google, and Wikipedia shows a picture. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. It's like, what's next? What? Is Megan going to put out like 50 press release things to all these little paid PR, little advertising places on, online? Megan never knew about her father's stroke. <laughs> She's re trying to reach out to her father. She never knew. Is that what's coming next? I mean, are you going to like shovel? Tons of horseshit down the public's throats because that's what you do. That's all you do. <laughs> garbage, 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 garbage. Yeah, Barb Q with her freakish eye for detail. She could not even put a coherent sentence together, supposedly wishing Catherine healing and health. Didn't call her Catherine, but use their titles. Yeah, it's all garbage. It's all like, look at me, look at me, look at me. That's, that's all it's about. Getting your, getting your face and your, look, getting your face in the internet so people look at you but the, the best part about this now is people look at you and they probably vomit. You know, nobody buys it. Nobody, nobody believes it at all, which is the best part about this. It's long overdue, been a long time coming. So <laughs> blow it out your lizard ass. <laughs> yes, Pam, Prince William would not even be in the same room with it, with them. They have found out about the, the King and Catherine at the same time as the world. Shows everyone what the royals think of them. Nobodies. Absolutely. Laura Nolan, well said, Thomas, thank you. Moth's mummy, Tom, imagine if it was William with the cancer, Harry would be jetting back to England to offering to be the king. Yep. It's just... This is not like a, a swap meet money grab, but it is to it is to those others. And that's the way they look at it. Okay, let's get to some of these. Okay, Kim Schwint. Thank you so much. <laughs> you allegedly always make me laugh. You know, I try I try to put a different spin on things. And I try to speak the truth. I speak from the heart. I call it like I see it. There's no bullshit. And especially for me, it's like, if she can do it to me, she'll do it to the royal family and she'll do it to everybody else who gets within a 10 foot radius of her. It's like an evil, evil cancer that just sucks in positive financial gain wherever she goes, allegedly, in my opinion. <laughs> Oh, Pip T. Hope Thomas and Dad spent there okay. Yep, we're all good. Cherry Hamlin, hi from Los Angeles, California. I just saw the Sperry and Medusa that were on the way. To okay, that's old. Sorry, guys. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm getting better at it. Okay. Karen Marie, she got rid of your entire family. She doesn't care about the princess. Thanks for putting it out there. Well, you were spot on. She all of a sudden, like, from day one, day one, she got rid of her entire family because she's an orphan, you know? You know, before she per portrayed herself as this immaculate concep conception baby floating down the Nile River in a basket where Jesus himself picked her out. And she she thought she was that special, obviously. 
I think it's like somebody opened up a sewer that go that went right down to hell and fished her out when she was like floating and clinging to like a like a floating turd. That's more like it. The sewer that leads to hell, allegedly, in my opinion, is is now where it came from. It, it came from. Hmm. All right. Amanda McMillan, hello from Atlanta. Susan Aldred. They also have been in touch with the Sussex squad to tell them to leave Harry's family alone. Yeah. You know, like I said earlier, I, I'm so pleased that Dan Wooten and other people have, have just called out the Sussex squad because now God would only hope that everybody takes every resource available, digs in, finds out who the hell all these freaks are and just prosecutes them to the fullest extent of the law, guaranteed. That's what needs to, that's what needs to happen. Wow. Menno. Oh, my number one right there. All I'm going to say is many blessings sent your way. Thank you so much. You were just awesome. You are, you're always awesome. And got to love it. Just incredible support. Everybody's on the same page on this. And it needs to stop. It needs to come to 2024. The karma year is going to happen. It's started right now. The end of this evil, bullying, bullshit online, attacking people who say anything about bad about the Sussexes. They're not even the Sussexes. I mean, it's just, it's gross. But it's coming to an end. That's what I see. So, faster the better. Sooner the better. What I keep saying, trading places, 2.0. Yep, it's a coming. DM Tiger Paw, hi from Canada. Anna Perkins, hello Thomas, and all the chat. 1 a.m. here in the UK. Yeah, I know. I just went a little late, but but you know, I gotta stay on top of this. It's my job. <laughs> Yvonne Furzy, I wouldn't trust them with the Corgi's poo bags. Yeah, they might try and sell them like online, you know, royal dog crap. Your or uh, me game would probably make like her own special line of cosmetics out of it. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's it's called corgi poo. It blends in the color. It changes the color and for different events when you have to address different people in different tones, colors. <laughs> Sharon Thompson. Hi Thomas and all Montana. I'm late. What's everybody talking about? Catwoman65, tell your dad. Hi, Tom. I hope he is well. I will. Shadow Wolf, she, Rachel, really wanted attention on her freaky eye. It's like, freaky eye? Stir the mashed potatoes with your good finger? <laughs> on the cooking show? Yeah, oh, my boy. What is wrong with those feet, you know? Still, I mean, it's just like some sort of like wretched evil creature that was like put together in the depths of hell with with like raptor toe claw feet, hammer toes, an evil eye. And it's just, <laughs> I don't know. It's creepy. But at least now the entire world knows what we're dealing with and how it happened is a mystery. But. Tracy, Trace C. Tracy, it's great you're standing for the truth. Prayers to you, your dad and family. Thank you so much. Much love and prayer. Much love and prayers from Pam. Purples me, Pam. For Omega, tell tell your dad hello. He is a he is a man so many would love to have as a father. Yes, absolutely, he is. Okay, what do we got here? Mary, thank you so much, Mary. Very, very nice. Hi, Tom. Does your dad acknowledge that 
Does your dad acknowledge that her kids look exactly like him, real or not? They don't look like him. Um, I mean, no. There's 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 pictures of my dad. I'll, I'll I'll show you a picture of my dad when he was younger, one of these days. But I don't have it right here. Royal chats. Where is barbecue? Love the chat and sexy accent. Whoa, barbecue. You got some uh, people chasing me out there. <laughs> Grace, how much money are these puff pieces costing has? Well, I don't think it's costing them anything. I think it's allegedly, in my opinion, it's other people's money that get donated to you know, charities, but it doesn't really make it where it's supposed to be going, if you know what I mean, you know, through like certain states with LLCs that you can buy any business for $99 and not be liable for anything legally. So I don't think it's actually his money, allegedly, in my opinion. So Brenda Carter, H&M, go to Joshua Tree, Climb high on a big rock so the aliens can come pick you up. <laughs> Brenda, I don't even think the aliens want them back now. They done sold the ranch. They, you know, they screwed the pooch, sold the ranch. Fubar, fucked up beyond all recognition. Done. I don't think anybody wants them back. Maybe, maybe the guy at the, you know, eight million foot sewer hole where they came from maybe that guy down there will want them back probably just to if anybody ever saw the movie little nicky with uh adam sandler it's a really old movie but it's kind of funny i mean it's you know it's 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 funny but there's a part in there where where when you go back down to hell and your punishment is satan tells you to go to the little locker and choose a pineapple <laughs> and that pineapple gets stuffed up your ass every day. So maybe that's what's going to happen to him from now on. So look it up. You'll see. It's pretty funny. Cindy Sylvester, I think we should start using the duo real names. The Sugars wouldn't have clues who we were speaking about. Yeah. Yeah, the sewer that leads to hell. Exactly, that is priceless, Lillian. Okay, Grace. Funny how Megzi doesn't go after you. Well, somebody keeps fucking with my stuff and screwing with my channel, getting in there, causing blurs during my broadcast, all this kind of stuff. I mean, it happens all the time, and. I couldn't imagine it would be her or the Sussex squad or the hackers, you know, that, that are bought and paid for who drank the Kool-Aid, you know, I mean, maybe, maybe this April 9th, when the solar eclipse happens across North America here or the Southern portion, when, when hail bop, or we'll call it when mega bop asteroid comes by or comet comes by, maybe they'll all drink the Kool-Aid, put the Nikes on and get the hell out of here. Once and for all. <laughs> Would it surprise me one bit? But, you know, karma. Karma's coming. The truth and justice and good always prevail over evil. So, okay. Basically, I just wanted to get on and just say hi to everybody. And just go over what, you know, disgusting little PR crap was in, like, all over the internet today, this morning. It just made me sick. Made me sick. Mary, Lady, Saint, Lady C thinks your sister has something to do with the medical records leak. Do you think it's possible, allegedly? Well... Let's see. I think, you know, a little bird told me. I got a little bit of tidbit, something I saw on the internet. Um, 
that was a pretty, pretty hefty amount of money put up to obtain those medical records. 200,000 pounds? I mean, there's not a tabloid that would offer that kind of money because they're all cheap cheap bastards. Um, they just don't pay. You know, they offer you nothing. Like, oh, I'll give you $2,000. Like, you're supposed to jump for that shit. So, but I'm sure the world will find out very shortly exactly where that came from. You know, cyber crimes these days are very, very take, taken seriously. So, um, all the best hackers in the world, it's only a matter of time. They're going to find out exactly who you are, where you are, what you did, who you talked to, what you said to everybody. They will find you, guaranteed. And then, like I said, 2024, karma year, it's over. And it'll be over when the sea donkey sings. <laughs> She's probably home rehearsing right now while she's making jams and jellies. I don't know, just off the top of my head. <laughs> All right. But it's like to all of a sudden come up with that this morning. Oh, uh, she had no idea. You know, she's, she's just been torturing this woman for six months. <laughs> Breaking news. Megan never knew dad had a heart attack. She just found out today. She reaches out and sends her love and prayers. Get well soon. Breaking news. Meghan Markle never knew her dad had a stroke. So now, the two, two and a half years later, she's reaching out. Oh, daddy. <laughs> I don't even think I need to say any more on that, do I? <laughs> Liz Gaspari. Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay, if you ever need a mod, Julian Rowe is highly recommended. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you so much. And, you know, here again, all my, all you guys who just join in and talk with me, it's really awesome. And I really, really appreciate you guys looking out for me. Um, uh, okay, what's this? Okay, here, oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Hold on. Let me get back to this here. Crazy Kel, no, no disrespect, blah, no disrespect to you, Thomas, but you don't even need to say anything about her now. They dug, they've dug their own hole. They can't get out. I'm glad the Markles are vindicated. Yes, yes, we are. Been saying it all along. I warned the royal family before. I warned Harry before. You know. Nostra Thomas has spoken and completed his mission. Not, this is going to keep going. <laughs> All right. Stardust. Stardusted. It doesn't matter who they are. There's a linchpin. And we know who is really doing it. Every single time they try to harm the royal family, the royal family is more loved than ever. Exactly. Every time. That's what this is about. Justice and truth. Hmm. Sylvia, I hope it's coming to an end. Purples me, Pam. Awesome, Menno. Barbara Brown. Hey, all. Okay. Nora Collins. Hello. Kathleen Cooney, M didn't reach out to anybody. Prince William would never allow it. Absolutely. You know, you, you can only poke the bear so many times before you get the shit kicked out of you. So I bet you I would not want to be on the end of Prince William's wrath. Just saying. You done messed with the wrong, wrong bear. Good luck with that there, chicken boy. <laughs> you best uh, just go home and teach those chickens how to fly, and maybe they'll get an aviation award also. 
better just stay home in the chicken coop, pal. <laughs> you done pissed your brother off to, oh, man. Barbara Brown, thank you. I'm glad your family has been vindicated too. Tom, you're all just such nice people and well-loved. I hope you know. I've always known who I am, and thank you so much for saying that and bringing it out and put, putting the comment out there. That's awesome. Okay. Dennis King, what's worse than cancer? Knee gain. Yeah. You know, maybe that's what maybe that's what knee gain can do. She can open up her own brand of like jock itch cream and go down and she can sell it to the devil himself. <laughs> knee gain for that uncontrollable butthole and jock itch. You know, maybe that's her make that's that's where she'll be in in hell selling it to the devil himself, allegedly, in my opinion. Donna Frost, hello, Australia. Kaz at home. Good day, Thomas and everyone. Happy to be here. Happy to have you. Thank you. Maureen Ingleson, how's your father, Megan? Who's that? Who's that? I keep getting little dings on the phone. You never know who it could be. <laughs> we did get that surprise call from barbecue the other day, uh, yesterday. That was pretty, I don't know. Um, maybe, should we give Samantha a ring? See what she's up to? Get her, uh, you know, let's, should we get her opinion on some of this stuff, you guys? I mean, I'm just saying, you know. I talked to Samantha this morning, but she is just blown away by all this also. So let me see. Let me see what old sis is up to here. All right. Catch up on some of these comments. I'm trying my best, you guys. What do we got here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to, you just got to admit, this is, this is definitely the karma year. Everything's coming to a screeching halt. And being that all this was brought to light, not only by myself, but, you know, ahead of me was Dan Wooten and another news outlet about the Sussex squad and the repeated attacks. And, you know, the, uh, I don't know, how, how would you even say it? The Wicked Witch of the West orchestrating all the flying monkey trolls, Sussex Squad? And if the cat is out of the bag? Or should I say the sea donkey's out of the bag? Because, yeah. You mess with the bull, you get the horns. And all I can say is like Prince William, yeah. Anybody did that to my wife and I found out about it? Man. I I could give you the guy's phone number, the guy who runs the Tijuana Tijuana Donkey Show down here. If you want to like make them new stars on the show, I can hook you up, bro. Don't you worry. Hello, is this Samantha? Well, hi. Who is this? This is Thomas Markle Jr. You're live on my show right now. Oh, <laughs> you suck. No, overwhelming sorry. response to have you on the show right now. So I was just reaching out, thought I'd give you a call because you are more popular on my show than I am. Well, that's because I'm cuter. I'm a little bit fatter, but I'm still cuter. Yeah, well, depending on what you're, you what know. Are you doing? Nothing. I was just uh, I was just talking to all the beautiful people here. 
and I asked, should I get Are you really doing your show right now? Oh, yeah, really. You're on right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it's a good thing I'm not on camera. I'm in the pajamas. Ew. I don't want, nobody wants to know that. I don't. I'm just, Hang on <laughs> one sec. Hang on one sec. Right. So, 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 so what did I miss? Nothing. I just, I said, let's, let's, uh, let's call you and get you. Get your opinion on all this, uh, all this fake news out about Megan and Harry reaching out to William and Kate, and they didn't know after they got busted with the Sussex Squad for the last six months harassing and bullying, and like 20, 30 different just paid PR articles all over the internet. It's just disgusting. So that's all. Yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna say in my opinion, allegedly reportedly now in my opinion um that would be like an arsonist catching somebody's house on fire and then reaching out to call and see if everything is okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's like <laughs> it doesn't really work i doubt it ever happened um but that's what pr does yeah yeah i mean it must be nice to have like millions of dollars of other people's donated charitable money allegedly in my opinion to spend like it's your own and just like flood the market i mean it's it's crazy i mean there has been a beef catherine princess catherine has known probably informed directly by queen elizabeth that she looked evil in the eye and she would know it then and it's Meghan markle that's what the queen said so and reportedly coming from the house of Jibon Shi and other sources, the rumors of direct insults to Princess Charlotte uh, that were highly out of line and way too macabre. No adult treats a child like that when she's six years old. I mean, you know, the these are not rumors. And I don't think Catherine needed, Princess Catherine needed to hear it from the Queen. I think Princess Catherine already knew I think the Rose Hanbury yeah. stuff is absolute bullshit, and how dare PR pull that out at a time when Princess Catherine is dealing with cancer and suffering, and King Charles is suffering and struggling with it too. So the bottom line is, um, you know, the PR I think are just they're just it, it's like throwing salt on the wounds. I mean, at a minimal, and I think they're out there prodding. And I think somebody, we all know who that would be, allegedly, is probably just, like, getting off on it and loving the power trip and loving that others are going through so much pain. Yep, absolutely. It's, uh, it's just warped and weird and very, very just strange. I mean, I just, I just don't even get it. I just it blows me, it blows me away. That well, did you did you did you ever see that movie The Bad Seed? Oh yeah, yeah, hey. yeah. So, I should I, I uh, yeah. Intense. I should should have taken I should have taken more home videos of when Megan was little. <laughs> the Bad Seed too. One, the one I the one that I thought. And it's out there. Anybody can Google it. This is not, you know, my word against anyone else's. And I think it was Nikki. I didn't see, you know, the other kids. I saw it at a distance. But it, there was a, a little girl who was having a birthday party. And so Miss Thang went over to the little girl, took the birthday party princess crown off the little girl's head and put it on her own. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, even as a kid, I, even when I was a kid, I would never do that because like, even as a kid, you know, you have some scruples and a modicum of heart, compassion. You want the birthday girl to feel special. Like anytime I went to a birthday party, we all tried to make the birthday girl have fun. We weren't taking her, we weren't stealing her thunder. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, there's like videos of the, like, the look when <laughs> when somebody else gets attention that look like the death the death stare you know 
obviously. No, there was a photograph. There no. Was a photograph that really bothered me. There was a photograph with Dad and Meg and TJ in the park. It was, I think it was Balboa Park or the Duck Pond. Yeah. We always went to, but. But dad See? is like giving TJ a lot of attention and she just looks like there's a trout flopping around in her pants and she's about to lose her lunch. Yeah, well, you know, I guess she she's grown to like that feeling of trout flopping around in her pants, but it was a look it was a look on her face of total like abhorrence because somebody else was getting the attention. Yeah, absolutely. My opinion. Somebody just told me to put the mic closer to the mic or the phone closer to the mic. So, but yeah, no, that death stare. And you could tell it was just like, like, but it was deeper. It was like, you know, you've seen kids look unhappy or get upset about something here and there, but they don't look like they want to shoot like flaming arrows through your face with their eyeballs, you know? Well, spend, spending, in my opinion, spending a day with her should be a challenge on Survivor. Like, as a contestant, <laughs> have to survive spending a day with her. Netflix, my God, how many ideas are we going to give you guys? There's your next multi billion dollar blockbuster. Meghan Markle stars in Survivor. If you can survive for eight hours on the island, you'll win. <laughs> Yeah, and, and at least, you know, and, and, and they have to give you umpire gear to start out with. Damn, they have to give you ho holy water and some silver crosses. What are you talking about? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that could be an interesting episode. Yeah. Hey, let's see. Royal Chats, thank you for the awesome tip, but, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't divulge anybody's personal information. So if I'm sure if if barbecues on here and she sees you, I'm sure she'll probably want she, she'll if she wants to get a hold of you, she will. But not coming from me. I protect my people. So. OK, what have we got here? Yeah, it's just. Um, I don't know. Yeah, Grace says Meg Z must be dying. That Catherine is getting all that love, and nobody's falling for the fake crap. Nobody is falling for the bull. It's it's just not happening. It's not happening. All the all the like twenty articles, fake PR, Megan reaching out and showing concern. Da 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 da. When she doesn't even address Princess Catherine as Princess Catherine. All these all these paid ones. And and everybody knows who they are, right? Kate, Kate Middleton. It's just so disrespectful. I mean, that alone, you should be thrown in the tower, you know, and have crows just eat those, you know, eat the flesh eating bacteria off your upper lip. <laughs> so I don't know. Anyway, but I just wanted to call and say hi and, and get your opinion on a couple of things. Which everybody loves. You know, I, think, I, think it, I think it's all really sad. I think it's all so predictable. I think it's even, you know, it would have been one thing that she just said nothing, in my opinion. But, and, and I don't think anybody is stupid enough to think that all of the PR out there is not being directed because that's what paid PR do. So, what makes it worse is that. And you know, here's evidence of the fact that it would have to be directed because you know, no articles can fly about them without their approval. So it feels like they're just paid jabs, like they're just paid insults, to kicking people when they're down. And Or she could have come out and said, you know what, this is a really tough time. This is really hard. This is very sad. Please respect the royal family and refrain from, you know, your online attacks your psychosis, your um, frothing at the mouth from your mother's basement, uh, <laughs> and allow <laughs> and allow allow this family to heal and to get through this. And if you're gonna be out there shooting off at the mouth, why don't you say some prayers for them? 
instead of all the bile equal shit that you're throwing around every day. Yeah, instead of trying to draw attention to yourselves. You know, I, I mean, I was looking at some of her things on Instagram that she posted yesterday. There's no remorse. There's no sadness. There is no genuine feelings inside that box of no. like inside that box of dead fish that she calls her. No. What I, what I read was, and God, you know, sadly, I don't think South Park would even exploit a tragedy like this, but it, it felt like a South Park, um, we, you know, elaborating on the we want our privacy moment, because what I saw in print was that they were um, hoping that um, they could get through this with some privacy. And I'm like, where is that coming from? No compassion. No sorrow, no public apologies for all of the public damage that's been done. It's just, hey, let's let's throw out the red herring and bring up the privacy issue. Like, how cold and evasive. Yeah. So, um, you know, the world the world could be ending. World War Three could be happening, and they would be running across the battlefield screaming that they want their privacy. Yeah. As usual, look at me, look at me, look at me. I'm one plane crash away from being. <laughs> no, oh, you know what and that's a good subject um when i first saw that i was like in denial i mean even though everything that's gone down has been really nasty i i thought did i just read that right yeah did she really say something that that's like out of a freaking stephen king movie yeah, you know, and so when when I saw that, I thought, "Oh my God, what a, what a shitty thing to put into the universe! How tacky! How I don't care how much money you have, sunshine, to say something like that. That just shows no class or morality whatsoever." Absolutely. See, there you go, Netflix again. That's your second billion dollar idea today. But they're on the plane that crashes, and they go right back to hell. <laughs> I don't know what royal protocol is. I was thinking about this today. I thought, oh my God, I hope to God in the event. And they say that the queen played the long game and that plans are, you know, pretty solid and regimented and organized. I thought, God, I hope if anything, God forbid, um, I would hope that it doesn't. But if anything happened in the line of succession and somehow William and Catherine were not present, anything happened, God forbid, that at least... Princess Anne would um, fill in and reign as the monarch until Louis could reach majority and take the throne. Yep. Like anything, anything, anything to prevent the diabolical duo from getting in that position. Oh my God. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, Ginger Gratuas? Tomasito, do you think your baby sister has trolled your channel? Curious of Texas should G group Z us. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be once a bit surprised. I've I've had I've had trolls. I've had flying monkey Sussex squad people in my channel. You know, it's yeah. I'm sure she has, but once again, well, once again, it's I, like my ex, like my ex page. What you got to do is do a shout out. Everybody say hi, Myra. <laughs> hi megan how's your daddy everybody take a moment out of their out of their you know sad day and just make sure somebody notices and ask how's megan today i mean oh gosh i love my, I love my daddy because he taught me how to draw my own thoughts repeat after me myra <laughs> and when i was 11 i called a soap company. Because <laughs> yeah. daddy told me to. Yeah, because my daddy told me to, because I still, to this day, can't do anything on my own without my own original ideas. Still, to this day. So, just saying. Allegedly, in my opinion. So that's, go, go ahead. So, what's going on? Um, so I'm wondering, then I'm going to say, if you all things taken together, who's she, who she plagiarizing, you know, and the way she treats people, maybe Satan? I don't know. You know, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe Netflix wants to make uh, The Exorcist 
uh, uh, Ted, you know? <laughs> Ooh, instead of Reagan, it could be Megan. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, watch me, watch her turn her head around four times in a row with spitting pea soup at everybody. And she does that anybody. She does that anyway. <laughs> oh, but. Well, it would, it would bomb though, because I think, yeah. you know, I think the world is conditioned. We've seen it all. Yeah, I think, you know, that's, that's my predictions. I'm going to stick to it. Um, I think this is the 2024 karma year. It is happening. This right here, the truth is out there. Everybody knows it. Everybody's aware of the Sussex squad and their, their happy, evil leader. And the cards are going to fall. I mean, your little well, here, house of cards. Go ahead. Here would be the blockbuster, you know, because, I mean, I mean, we've already seen all of the other stuff on the dark side. So I think the blockbuster that would happen would be what if lightning struck and suddenly she was totally self-sacrificing and like Mother Teresa and gave the shirt off her back and gave everything away, didn't want any attention and never lied about anything, never hurt people. And the clouds parted. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, right. <laughs> You know, it's just weird how, I mean, at least we all see what's really happening. So everybody's everybody's on top of the fact that everything that comes out of her mouth is is fake PR. Look at me. Look at look at my, nobody's paying attention to me. All from the childhood videos from day one. That's that's the way it's been. Now, you know, she's got a boatload of other people's money falling out her ass that she can just spend like it's hers to promote nothing but lies. Allegedly, in my opinion, of course. Well, and in my opinion, since she's got so much money, um, it wouldn't be far fetched to think that she could get a hold of her direct energy weapon. So put put a blue roof on your house, like paint it or something. Um, several lasers can't see it, you know. So get the house. Ginger Snap, love Sam. LOL. Sam is so intelligent. Who was that? Who was who said that? Sam kicks ass. Paula. Sam is kick ass. Paula M said that. Hi, Paula. Okie dokie. Uh, who else we got here? Megan. How's Princess Catherine today? Oh God. I'm not even gonna start that one. We I don't want Megan to ever mention Princess Catherine ever again. She's so disrespectful and still calls her Kate Middleton out of jealous rage. So of course, in my opinion, of course. Yeah, I mean, you know, Princess Catherine is so gorgeous, and I think let's let's elaborate. Like, let's do a spin on Elton John's song "Candle in the Wind." Megan's candle is far downwind and downstream from Princess Catherine's. Like, she she couldn't hold a candle to her. There's there's not a chance in hell. Yeah, the only and thing that I, the only the only candle that Megan holds is the one to her butt, trying to blow fucking flames in Harry's face. So remember, um, for a while there was it was kind of funny. Uh, people were <laughs> all over social media. Um, okay. There was Princess Anne's feather in her cap that was blocking Megan's face from the cameras. Uh, oh, sure. Where to go? Where to go? In this one shot, but I, there were people were putting a candle in the way to the blocker face. It was kind of funny. Oh, I just lost a really good comment I had to hit on, but I remember it. I just want to give a shout out to the person who put it up here. I don't know. I lost it. It clicked and went really fast, and I can't find it. But what is my thoughts on the BBC buying the entire uh, rights to suits? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. What are my thoughts on that? I think. Hopefully, if the universe is working correctly, hopefully the BBC bought the entire rights to the whole series of suits to be put on a shelf or burned at a bonfire for eternity so we never have to watch it ever again. So well, I think that was a stupid that was a stupid move because they have to know that, you know, after all of the worldwide destruction and um, lack of fan base, in other words, haters, 
that the station and its sponsors would be boycotted and harassed for airing that. It's like, you know, they're just begging. It's, I, I won't say go woke, go broke, but my God, you put something like that on, especially given everything that's transpired, you know what? It's not going to be very popular, my opinion. Susan Carter, Samantha is so intelligent. I said that she had had to endure so much pain from her baby sister. Yeah, I don't even want to call her a family member anymore, but thank you, Susan Carter. And then um, Ginger Grutius. Ah, I can't even pronounce it. Grutius. 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 Um, I love your attorney, Samantha. He's a sharp tool. Meghan Markle has been shunned. Yep. Ooh, yeah. Some, see, these people follow you a lot. Thank you. I will pass that on. Gail from South Australia, Oprah and the Kardashians are the only ones who would buy her crap anyway. Yep. And they all, they all have their foot in their mouth now for, you know, bad-mouthing uh, Princess Catherine. You see all the apologies all over, the, all over social media today? You guys drank the Kool-Aid too late. You're in the boat with the Sussex squad now, so get used to it. <laughs> no, there really is a Stephen King movie there. Like, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I'm surprised he should be following them all and get some ideas. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Stephen King should call Netflix and say, I've got a blockbuster for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if, if they still owe you money under a contract, well, let's milk it for every dollar it's worth. <laughs> mm. Olive oil. H&M can move to Epstein Island. Meg's <laughs> Megalire can show him around the Congo and use her for multiple language to get around. <laughs> Man. Oh, God, yes. Thumbs up. Ruth, hi Thomas. Just subscribe. I think your dad needs to do a DNA test to see if there's actually if he's actually her dad. I feel so bad for you and your family. God bless. Yeah, it's like you know, what, you know what's you know what's really sad about that. I the only reason I want to nip that in the bud is um, I'm certainly not taking any ownership. Um, our, our DNA would be imagined. What's really weird is that mm -hmm. if you look at my baby pictures and Meg's, like. Kids go through changes where you can see um, features that either look more like mom or look more like dad. And so when I was looking at our baby pictures, at I think it was not baby pictures, but in like third grade, I I should post them one of these days because we look so much alike. And everyone said, even dad has said, you and Meg look exactly alike. Well, maybe at certain ages and until a certain point we did. And I don't, I don't really have blonde hair for everybody out there who thinks, oh, Samantha was Nordic and blonde. No, I was born dark brunette, just like that. And you, and and you, would, and you, and you weren't bald as a child either. And you're not balding now. No, and, um, and I don't, I, you know, I mean, one of the distinct, I think, differences between Megan and I, even at that age, was, yeah, we both had dark hair, but I didn't have horns. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's right. Yeah, you didn't have horns. I do remember that. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have I noticed that in pictures. I was like, wait a minute, what's wrong with these and things you, up here? And you didn't have sharp toes or claws on your toes either. Yeah, it's all it's all coming back to me now. Yeah. And the other thing. And if I, if I, if I hung from trees, I was doing it with my hands, not my toes. And I always wondered, it was just a big mystery. Why is Megan hanging upside down in the closet from the clothes pole when she sleeps? I, it, it all makes sense now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that was that mm. was practice for being a vampire, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, what was that one with uh, 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 Keanu Reeves? That one vampire movie that was... Uh, that was a good one. Was it Keanu? Was, uh, yeah, Keanu Reeves. Oh, that was that was the one of the best vampire movies. That's pretty spot on as far as a comparison goes to what really happens when the lights goes out in Montecito. 
<laughs> All right. Oh, let's see. Again, we'll spit this soap bubbles. Da, 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 da. I heard, uh, yeah, um, I heard today someone said, was reading an article that said they're, Harry and Megan are doing something to the effect of making their big push to go back to Great Britain. And I was like, oh my God, sorry, but I don't think there's any way in hell that that would happen. Yeah. Nah. Well, that's, you know, the purpose for today's um, just surprise live was just from yesterday because it was such a shock and it was such a sad day. And everybody who joined in yesterday, uh, Menno, I mean, just amazing, amazing, emotional, positive energy support put out to the universe. Catherine's going to be fine. That's the general concept. Con, uh, what was that? That's the general feeling all over the place. She'll be fine. She's going to rise above this a thousand times stronger than ever even imagined. And then I think that I think. I think the consensus around the world, even for me here, though, I mean, you know, somebody is loved worldwide when something tragic like that happens and everybody just cries for a second. Like, yeah. you, it, the room is just still, everybody's quiet and it, you just can't believe it. And you actually cry and you don't, you don't know the person personally. You don't know why you're crying, but you cry. And I think that's a very special yeah. um, attribute of human beings and it separates us from wolves and um, except for one or two people. I don't know anybody who didn't cry like yeah. about that. You know, and then, uh, you know, a lot of people are asking, like, what's next? What's the big attention grabber to draw attention away from the important human emotion things in life? What's next with them? What is there going to be like a surprise appearance of the, of the kids? You know, I saw something on, I saw something really funny on Instagram where there's this little little kid standing in front of the doorway and he's on the phone and he's talking to Meg. Uh, Meg, is there any work as a body double for Lily today? <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. who knows what's next? I mean, thank God everything is just coming to a screeching halt for these two and the lies and the deceit and the hate. And thank God. Oh, Menno, Menno, she's got another one. Thank you for bringing sunshine to these dark days. Absolutely, my pleasure. Um, you know, I just, I, me personally, that's what I do. I try and put a little bit of laughter and in everything, but um, still a very sad day. Um, but all we can do is hope and pray for Princess Catherine to make an astonishing and amazing, amazing, amazing tenfold recovery in record time, which she will do. And we all know it. So yeah, if anybody's, I always thought she reminded me of Wonder Woman anyway, but you know, here across the pond, the American version. And so that being said, in everything that she does in her life, what she represents, her outreach, her, you know, I can only imagine how busy her schedule is. And I, I, I think a lot of people in America certainly think, oh, they're royals. They have a life of leader. They don't do much. But she was very involved in the community and certainly as a mom and everything else. So all yeah. things considered, I always kind of called her Wonder Woman. And I think if anyone can bounce out of this like Wonder Woman, she can. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And yeah, it is what it is. That's that's exactly what's going to happen. Like sooner than everybody expects also. I mean, this is going to be over and done with so fast because the universe takes care, takes total care of amazing souls and beautiful people and genuine people who are good souls that deserve to be a part of this world because there's not enough people like that. Uh, Mary Tackett, did you or Samantha ever think Megan would be so cold and callous when she got older? No, I was just always just worried about all the stuff flying around in the room and stuff like that all on its own whenever Megan would walk into a room, allegedly, in my opinion. You know, I kind of stayed away from home more often at that point. So. Well, 
you know, I mean, so it, it, kids go through different changes when they're going through identity crisis. And without getting too technical, you when kids get in their little moods and they, I'm not saying their head spin, but there, you know, there were some tones of voice that came out of her that I was rather shocked at, but I just, and maybe I was enabling her at the time because I didn't know what was going on. I hadn't had training as a counselor yet. I didn't recognize what was happening, but I just thought, oh, she's being a kid. I'll just, you know, default to letting her have the moment and not call her out on this attention or this, but just let her explore her feelings and let it out and vent and she'll work it out because that's what you do as you're nearing adolescence. Um, I certainly never thought it would manifest on continuum the way that it has. Yeah. And, um, but you know, again, and people were giving like dad a hard time saying, Oh, he enabled her. He this, he that he spoiled her too much, but you want to spoil your kids. You want to love them. And a lot of kids are spoiled and don't turn out like this. I mean, you want to give them everything you can. You want to provide reasonable boundaries and hope that they make the right choices. But with her, I don't think anybody could have foreseen that she was going to run with this ball so far. I know. You it's... know, people have a locus of self-control. They have social margins. They have agents of socialization, people at school, their peers, other people that kind of keep them within boundaries but um reportedly um and in my opinion narcissists don't want to work with boundaries they can't be bridal they their egos are too big and they want to be the one in control and setting the boundaries absolutely sue potter thank you so much uh big hugs to you tom jr samantha keeping you in my prayers big hugs to your dad my heart is also with the royal family especially princess catherine it's very, very sweet, Sue. Thank you so much. Um, Ashley Kane, we all we need all the info possible to expose Megan and her lies. Well, believe you me, they are coming out left and right. And as we get them, we go live. And that's the way it's going to be happening from now on. Every time it's yeah, out there. Everybody who's very... Sorry about that, Tom. Go ahead. No, go ahead. You're up. I just want to say, everybody out there who's curious about that topic, you can Google Megan Kelly and others who had a list of like a hundred cumulative lies that had been debunked, um, where, where she had been called out uh, and they were proven to be lies. But people were keeping a tally of this stuff. So, it, you know, it's, it, I guess what amazes me is that for someone who has been out there several times saying, oh, I don't pay attention to social media and I don't pay attention to media, of course she does. And if anybody was out there saying things that weren't true, she'd probably be suing left and right. Yet she didn't sue Megyn Kelly because the things that Megyn Kelly was putting out there had been proven to be lies and there were so many of them. And so I guess what's surprising is that even knowing that the public, the world was, you know, coming to realize all of the lies, she had an opportunity to change and kept going. Yeah, absolutely. It's like, wow, they're on to me. I better change my MO right now. But she never did. I know. Every opportunity for the longest time to set the record straight. That's that's what we're that's what we're, we're totally missing here. So and not and not even to set the record straight for her own benefit to put herself in a favorable public light, which you would think a narcissist, someone who's a narcissist would want to do. How about let's not only set the record straight, let's help and correct those whom we harmed. Like no public apology, no attempt at um healing and making things better you know how can i fix this since i made your life so horrible and i hurt you i'm really sorry what can i do to make it better never interesting in, interesting one here real quick sorry to interrupt you but cordo here cordo says all kinds of wrong shared raglan's mugshot we got to google that all kinds of wrong shared raglan's mugshot interesting 
So we need to look wow, into that. I never, I, saw, I never saw that. So yeah, I, I always thought that that like everything got washed off the internet, um, <clears throat> well, by you know who, but and then it always comes back to Riverside County, some hard copies and public records there. That needs to be looked into. So maybe the mystery will be solved. Everybody asked about it continuously, you know? Well, the problem with stuff like that that's out there now, and it's kind of scary that digital technology is so good. Photos out there are so easy to Photoshop. Like if it looks like a mugshot, that doesn't mean it is. You have to cross-reference it, verify it against yeah. actual actual police department records yeah. uh, to make sure. Before, so. before it goes into total, you know, speculation. Uh, Brenda yeah. Brenda Carter says for Sam, please do something nice for yourself. You are a great sister and a daughter. Thank, Thank you, you Brenda. For you too. Yeah. Anyway, uh, sun's going down here. It's getting kind of late, but um, anyway, just uh, a nice roundabout uh, recap from yesterday, and I just want to say thanks to everybody tuning in. And as the story unfolds, we'll get here every day. All right. But we're going to cut it short. Not really short. We're good. But thanks, everybody. Love right. you guys so much. Appreciate all the support. Like, subscribe, tell everybody. And uh, we'll keep it coming. And God bless. Stay safe. Sleep tight. Good night, everybody. Good night.